Welcome back, everybody. This is the lowdown. Got to give it up for the band for the culture. Yes, I was making the phone yes. Yes, yes. Now, Mike, I'm excited, man. We got a really special guest here today, Who you bro. got today? He's man. been seen on a few things. Uh, you may okay. have seen today's guest on such hit shows as Blackish and HBO's Ballers. He can currently be seen on the show, David Makes Man. Y'all give it up for my new friend, Shane Pasta. Yes. All right. Okay. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Look at that. Oh, look at who, bro. Welcome. Welcome, come join me. <laughs> man, man. I'm... All right. <laughs> All right. Shane, welcome, bro. Hey, I appreciate you. Thank you. No, Thank I you appreciate so much. you being here, man. I got man. to meet you a few weeks ago, man, and I'm a big fan of yours ever since. Man. Oh, man. That's, that's I will tell you. Thank you. Thank you. No, <laughs> Thank you. No pressure. Okay. But you come highly recommended by somebody on this show. <laughs> on this on this? That's, on this one right here. Yeah, it's tight Mike Randolph, man. I found oh. out that you guys used to run together back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was a little slower, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's catching up, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me that one. You owe me that one. I take that. I take that. Easter Friday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Easter Friday. But no, he actually told me you guys met back in the day. You grew up in Florida. Another okay, shout out Florida by the way. Right, right, okay, absolutely. native. Uh, back in the day in the clubs, you used to do photography. Actually, videography, behind the scenes videography. Oh, behind the scenes, right, man. right, right. Now tell me a little bit about uh, you meeting Tight Mike back in the club days and what that was like. Oh man, uh, first of all, it, whew, we was hood. Both of you together as a collective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You had the HO, he had the OD. Hey, Y'all were hood. Hey, uh, well, you know that song, uh, you know, we started from the bottom, now we're here. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, we was all the way. We was at the bottom of the bottom. We was like, we, we were really? under, we were We were at the bottom looking at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you know, like, we, but, but we, hey, man, I, I'm so proud of him. He, you know, Absolutely. And, 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 you know, you need people like him by your side because. You do. Because, you know, th that's how we came up together. We encouraged each other. We sure did. Yeah, and that's we how did. we do it here, man. I'm, I'm glad to have Mr. Tight Mike Randolph. Yes, sir. Up. Yes, sir. Very well. Thank you for bringing me. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly. But I'm also very proud of you, man, because you really did start at a, a very humble place, man. And where you right. are now is truly amazing. I appreciate it. Now, that. you were telling me a story about your first gig. You didn't think it was real. Some lady called you. You thought. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, the first TV yeah, gig. The first TV, TV gig right, you had. Right, you thought, right. man, come on, you messing with me. So right. tell me a little bit about your first experience. Um, well, uh, to go back to the, you know, to keep it um, cohesive is, you know, I was almost homeless. You know, okay. that, that, you know, Talk about um, it. And I was, uh, I was at a really, you know, Bad place. Okay. Had to move down to Miami. You're gonna catch me getting teary eyed. Oh, it's in the okay, mirror, brother. Man. Let it out. Let I, it out. Um, I, uh, I always worry about getting through this part. But um, you know, to make a long story condensed, is it is it that uh, this lady called me at almost midnight? Okay. And says, "Hi, I'm Lori Wyman. Um, I got this show with Dwayne Johnson, and and I like you uh, to be a part of this." And I'm like, okay, what kind of camera do you need? And she was like, look at me. <laughs> she, she was like, what do you mean? I said, well, this is Dwayne. I'm not, I'm not gonna show up with no DSLR, no little rinky dink camera. We you looking thought, you yeah. thought she wanted you to film it, right? I, yeah. I, I thought she wanted the cameraman. Yeah. And then it start, you know, and then you know, back in the day, uh, you know, in the hood, <laughs> so to speak, I would get these prank calls about, hey, Puffy wants to talk to you. He needs some camera work. He needs. So I'm like, okay. I've been doing this for a little while, so who's going to call me at almost midnight to tell me they need a camera? Like, yeah. it just really doesn't no happen. No good calls come at midnight unless it's a special visit. <laughs> right? <laughs> no. None. So, so um, you know, I want, I want to give two really huge shout-outs. One is to Lori Wyman for getting me started. And okay. Sadia Prasad, who made the phone call to, to get me there. That's amazing. You know, um, because, I mean, it was a really bad time. And so when I didn't think it was real, I said, okay, let me make a phone call. Let me just double check. Let me just see and make sure everything's right. Now, so this I, is the great part. So I called Saudi and she's like, yeah, yeah. She's like, but she didn't call you. I said, well, how did I get the name? So she's like, why are you on the phone with me? So I called somebody else just to double check because Absolutely. I still wasn't believing it. Absolutely. Me. And the lady who I called, she was like, yeah, I just did some extra work for that show. So it is for real. And, I, and all of a sudden, I just started crying. I started bawling out. I, as I told you before, I, uh, I had just got a job, that, mm. you know, and I was literally fighting for two hours a day for the Taco Bell $2 meal deal. God bless. Like, literally. Brother. Like, you know. I understand. And um, when I found out everything was real, I was like, uh-oh, hold on. So let me call the lady back. And she was like, okay, listen, I know you got camera work and whatever. If you can't do it, I got plenty more for you. And I said, ma'am, I said, excuse me, I, like, I, I'm not ignorant. I, like. I understand if you're telling me I have a chance to actually be in a show with Dwayne. Yes. 
and, and I could actually be in the show and I'm faced with, that's not coming again. Let me just do the right thing. I said, if I was your cameraman, I wouldn't leave you stranded. I said, just let me. And she goes, no, no, I completely understand. Went and did the audition on Monday. And before I even got back to the job, she said, look, I can't officially tell you, but just wait for the official. But you got, I was like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> you know, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And this is important. I want to say this, man. You, you are a man that steps in faith. Yes. You definitely do. You told me a great story about how you were at a gas station, man. You had your last $20, if I'm not mistaken. 25 Twenty-five dollars. Please right. tell me real quick so people can hear this. Okay. How, how why, why, why God is a real thing and he's mm. always good. Please tell me the story. And keep in mind, at this time, I didn't believe in God. Really? I didn't believe. Like, and I was just so fed up. I was losing my house. I knew the sticker was coming on my door that day. Eviction notice. You know, um, and I needed 1200 I needed, 12, I needed 1200 that day and didn't know how it was coming. Gotcha. And I had a homeless guy come up to me, and if you know about OBT and homeless people, they don't cry. They're already hard. They, they, they've already seen, they, you know. They, they have. And this guy was crying. He's like, man, just give me a few pennies to get started. Just, I just need something to get started. Nobody's helping. I don't know what's going on. And I was like, whew, I got $25 in my pocket, and now I'm hearing a voice I never heard before. And he was like, give it all. I was like, and I was about to, and then I look at my gas tank, and I'm like, Oh, well, hold on. I need, I need gas money to get home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get home. So, uh, you know, um, I'm now I'm having a, a fight with An this with this, fight. with this voice. Yes, that so, you had never uh, heard or paid attention to before. No, no, never, never, never wanted to, but never did. You never, know, never listened. So, um, now I'm debating whether to give the five or the twenty, and I was like, okay, now here comes the real conversation, yelling in my head at a person that I never seen or heard before. You know, wanted to, but just. And I'm like, okay, so I finally made the decision to give the 20. And now I'm begging for forgiveness for somebody who I never even talked to. That's right. And I'll say, please forgive me, but I need the $5 to get home. Yes. And I need, I need this 1200 I said, I need to say, I'm not, I'm not trying to be greedy. I'm not trying to, I just need, to, I need a place to stay. You just want a place to sleep. I just want a place to sleep. You yeah. know, I literally, and still to this day, and it's what keeps me grounded, I literally have visions of sleeping in the grass. Wow. That wow. keeps me grounded. Mm -hmm. That keeps me driving. That keeps me... Working for everybody. Mm -hmm. Forgive me. No, no, please, no. And and you and the way you had told me the story was you told the, you told God, look, if I give this man my last twenty, if you out there, if you listening, if you really got me, mm -hmm. then I need to find a way to pay that rent that day. Yeah. And you went home, and what 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 happened? I had a check for nine hundred and a check for three hundred. Look at that. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. <laughs> He don't always give you what you want, but he <laughs> always gives you, you what, what you need. need. Bro, yeah. you can't beat that, man. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. That is truly amazing. I, I, I literally rushed that, those two checks over. And this is how bad it was. It was so bad that I wasn't even allowed to pay my mortgage. They actually had to call headquarters and say, hey, is it okay? okay. Yeah. yeah, because it was already going, it was already in process. Wow. Mm. It was, our, you know, so, and the lady's like, why are you crying? I said, if you even understood how that how money, I got yeah, yeah, Bro. She was, yeah, yeah. So. Ladies and gentlemen, please stick with yeah. it. We got to go to a short break, Shane. Okay. We're going to be okay. right back with the very talented Shane Costa. <laughs> Thank you. On the low now. Y'all don't go nowhere. Thank you. Welcome back to The Lowdown, everybody. I'm having a great conversation with actor, good friend, Mr. Shane Costas here, man. We love you, bro. Thank Hope you. you know that, man. Thank you. I love you back. Thank the you. The story that you're telling, what you're, what you're doing right now is very important for people to hear it, man. It's people that are like you, man. They're, they're Right now, they're feeling down. They're feeling like, I can't go on, but the things that you just shared is going to help somebody out there and touch them, because it no. definitely motivated me when you first told it to me, man. So I just thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Sharing your experience with us, thank man. You. It's really you. awesome. Now, your first acting gig on TV, you got to start off with Ballers, right? which is amazing, bro, because I'm a huge Dwayne The Rock. I mean, I got a man crush on Dwayne. Yes, I do. Bro, if I met him and his wife, I would tell her she can't love him like I can. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Not physically. Wow. I mean, <laughs> bro, all right. he's a beautiful man, is all I'm saying. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Woo, too fast, too furious. Too fast, too furious. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the way you're throwing shade. I don't like the way you're throwing shade, my. All in, yeah, all in. <laughs> No, 
but that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, you got a great oh, opportunity from the get go. Yes. And it just kept going from there, man. Some of the right. shows that you've been on, like right. Blackish, man, right. you've been on so many different things. Right. What's that experience been like? Like you going from photography in the club with Mike <laughs> 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 to these big sets, TV and whatnot, man. What's that experience been like for you? Uh, prayer, lots of prayer. Amen. Lots of, lots of prayer because they have the ability to handle that. You gotcha. know, um, you know, in any other testament of prayer, is it that you know I had no headshots, no resume, no nothing. No. You know, and people don't do that. And, and, and honestly, it, it's still, it's still to this day. You know, you don't do that. No. You know, um. It, I just uh, I prayed up and and you know and I promised that if I had that twelve hundred, that I would never forsake him after that and and it was just mm -hmm. you know that's my we talked about covenants you know mm -hmm. like I'm still gonna be me and still do me and still but but I that's that one promise that I gotta keep gotcha and that's been keeping me going forward ever since he ain't stopped blessing so, you brother no no not not at all you are doing, you not are doing very well out a, there, no man. I appreciate that and you know, I got a good team behind me. You know, Central Florida talent, my, my you know, agent Jackie, my manager, you know, I got a team now. I learned a little bit different. I can't do it all myself anymore. So it's like, no. you know, and, and I got a team who, who's with me and supports me, you know, so you I'm do. blessed. Cause I'm blessed. Shout out to Jackie. She yes, actually came yes, today. Yes, yes, she did. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, but the subject matter was hard for me because, you know, I'm from Miami. Uh, the show is about Miami. It's, it, um, but, uh, you know, which... That's something that I really wanted to do uh, mm -hmm. because of that to represent Miami, but to be on a black show, um, you know, executive produced by two very successful Amen. black people Amen. on a black network, yelling at black people. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, um, you know, that's a little and, different. And, huh? and, and, yeah, and, 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 and I want to, and I'm glad you brought that up because right. real quick, I want to show people what you do on that show. You, oh. you yell. <laughs> <laughs> I got a quick clip I want to okay. show them real quick. Okay. Shane Costa. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Welcome in my brother home. He just got out the hospital. I don't care what you celebrate. Quit that racket. <laughs> Sorry, we'll keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, Thank the you. best part about that scene is how how <laughs> agreeable the black dude was. Oh, sorry, because that's not how that goes. <laughs> Not in Miami. Not in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like for that part too. <laughs> but that's funny because that is not who you are yeah. at all. No, man. no, 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 no. And actually, in episode seven, it got even more intense. Really? Because we, because like you said, that doesn't, you know. Right. So that didn't happen in, in episode seven. And it got, <laughs> <laughs> so it got, it got, you know, it a got little intense. It, it got real. It got real. Gotcha. Um, and, gotcha. And uh, you know, the the response has been overwhelming because I was really. Really, like I said, I was really nervous, you know, because I'm yelling, you know, at black people. I'm yelling at gay and transgender. I mean, I'm doing everything that you're not supposed, supposed to, to do. You yeah. know, you're the, you're the and, poster and, child and, on that show correct. for stuff you're not supposed to do. And uh, you know, there's a um, there's a, a a Twitter feed, you know, that talks to the to the crew and, and cast and everything. And I've been really, really fortunate to be able to be on Clubhouse and talk to them and stuff. That's awesome. And uh, from the fans, the fans were like, "Hey, thank you for for doing this to show people." What's happening? What's really happening? And uh, you know, shout because out it's to, real. It's yeah, definitely real, man. Yeah, and shout out to uh, Kyle, um, Ant or excuse me, Adrian Scott, who who directed that episode. Gotcha. Who actually gave us? He just uh, yesterday gave us um, public praise for that because he understood how hard it was and had to come over and talk to me a few times. And say, hey, listen, we 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 know we're all here. We all love you. We, we need you know this is what we need. We need gotcha. them to see this. So because um, you were probably feeling, man, this is. Yeah, it's hard. I had to yell at a, at a you know at a young person and and yell at everybody who I don't want to be yelling at and, and mm -hmm. you know coming across them. But uh, but everybody on that show, even today, I mean, I still talk to them through social media and stuff. Mm -hmm. And everybody's their love and support on that show all the way around. Cast, crew, everybody has been amazing. Gotcha. That's amazing. Bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm really fortunate. And for you to play a character like that, look, it's not you. That's not who you represent. But it's important to be able to show that side so people see what we shouldn't be doing. Right. So I thank you for doing it. Thank you. Now, can you tell me any? I know you got a lot of secretive projects out there <laughs> you're working on. You're like a mad scientist. <laughs> but is there anything you can tell us that's coming up that we can we can know about? Um, I did. Uh, it's in post production now. Uh, the last movie with Tiny Lister, which is Debo. Wow. Um, and uh, that's uh, with uh, Mark Case. Uh, he's doing tons of films right now. So mm -hmm. it's just, 
And uh, I didn't get to meet Tiny, which which is uh, you know unfortunate. Absolutely, I hear so many wonderful. Th you know, he's like a gentle giant. Everybody says he's so amazing. So I wish I could have done that. But just to be a part of that film is is pretty. Amazing. And it's called In the MIA, which is uh you know it just God's been blessing me of just you know allowing me to represent where I wanted to be at in the first place. So it's it's pretty awesome. And I think everything has to do with timing. Yes, like you said the reason it happened at this state of like your age is because I couldn't handle certain success at a certain age. Like when I, if I was had right. all this when I was younger, y'all would have to come get me. Like, you know? Right, right, right. I think right. thing is timing, brother. Everything right. happens the way it is. Shane, I, there's nothing but success in your future, man. I, I love you and appreciate what you do. No, I love man. you. I love you all. Thank man. you. Thank you so Tell much. Tell Mike, you picked a good one, brother. <laughs> Absolutely great time having you here with us today, oh, man. man. Thank you so much.